Hi guys, today we wanted to show you top 5 tips for this Huawei Nova 9 SE device. So in order to start, I'll go to the settings app, display and brightness. And that's where the first tip is located at, that is called screen refresh rate. So basically the phone allows you to choose uh, from three possible options. The first one being the standard modes of your screen refresh rate, which gives you 60 Hertz of the refresh rate and uh, better and longer battery life. The next mode is the high mode, uh, which allows you to uh, crank up the refresh rate up to 90 Hz for the very smooth scrolling and animation experience. And there is also the third mode, which basically combines the best of two worlds. The next tip that I wanted to show you guys is also located in a display and brightness section in the settings. It is called the ebook mode, which is uh, located in the view mode category. We just uh, once, once you enable it, the phone basically becomes black and white. The color scheme becomes black and white. And if you are using your phone as an electronic book or you are going to have some very long reading sessions or you just basically all you got to do in the next uh, in some period of time in the future, you, you, got, you will just uh, read a lot of text. I highly recommend on using this mode since ebook mode just uh, decreases the eye fatigue and allows you to read a lot of text and not uh, get your eyes tired, should I say it like that. The next tip is uh, related to the biometrics. So basically, uh, let me just disable this ebook mode. In order to access the biometric settings on this device, you gotta go to the settings app again, look for the biometrics and password section. And here you can either install the fingerprint ID or face recognition. Uh, and in order to do that, you will also be required to install the backup uh, unlock method. So, which here is called lock screen password. So I'll just uh, show you guys how you can set up the fingerprint ID first. Just go to the section, set the screen lock pin code. Just go with this simple one. All right, and here on the f uh, fingerprint ID settings, you can choose what what exactly you're going to use your fingerprint for. Uh, as for right now, I'll only go with the unlock device function. And now it requires you to set up or basically add the fingerprint. I'll just place the finger on the sensor and I wanted to see, and I wanted to show that the sensor is located right here on the power button. So it's two for one deal. Basically, it's a power button and the fingerprint sensor. You just uh, follow the instructions. Scan the zones that, uh, of your fingerprint that are shown here. It's pretty easy. It should not take a long amount of time as long as you follow these instructions. So I got to enroll the center again. You just rotate your finger and trying to find the zone that the phone needs you to place at the sensor. Basically just go the zone. They go one by one, like a, in a circle key, circle wise. And uh, well, now to finish up, you need to also scan the fingerprint edges. Just let me understand what zone should I lay to the sensor real quick, because for some reason, oh, okay, here we go. It also is, as you can see, it can take quite a while since this sensor is very, very precise and it wants to scan an entire fingerprint, an entire fingerprint very, very precisely. And here we go. So as you can see, the device says that the fingerprint enrollment uh, is successful. Uh, fingerprint one has been added to your phone. You can rename it. I'll just type, I don't know, 
elephant, for example. <laughs> I'll name this fingerprint elephant. And let me show you how this works. So once I'll try to unlock the phone with any other finger than this one, it will not let me to. So as you can see, it says fingerprint not recognized. This one fingerprint not recognized. And as you can see, once I lay the actual finger that I've added the fingerprint from, it just instantly unlocks the phone. So <laughs> this one works. Uh, I'll also show you real quick how you can set up the face recognition. In order to do that, you got to well, enter the pin code. Let me do it off screen real quick. So I have successfully installed the face recognition, or should I call it the face ID? It is pretty easily done in basically a few seconds. So let me show you that it works. As you can see, the phone uh, has recognized my face. This uh, lock icon has been unlocked basically. I did not uh, lay my finger in here, so Basically, the both fingerprint ID and uh, face unlock, they work just fine. Uh, and we are moving on to the next tip, which is the how to change the transitions between the home screen on this device. So as you can see, the animation of transitions is now looks, it looks like that. And in order to change it, you just make the shrinking movement, open up this uh, additional menu, and choose the transition section. And here you have all kinds of uh, transitions to choose from. There is also the preview of them, so you'll be able to see what exactly you're choosing. I'll just uh, choose the page transition. In order to save it, just tap anywhere. And as you can see, the animation of transition of rotating between the home screen have been successfully changed, so that worked. And the final tip is uh, Basically, a tip that you would highly, uh, I, I would highly recommend you let them know the elders of your family if they are the users of this Huawei Nova 9 SE smartphone. It's called the Senior Mode. In order to enable it, you gotta uh, open up the settings up again. Look for accessibility features. It is basically usually it's usually located almost at the bottom of the page. Tap on it, and here is the second uh, feature. You have the Senior Mode. Let me turn it on real quick. So basically what it does, it just enlarges the visuals, makes the sound more apparent and lets you customize the touchscreen settings. And as you can see, everything has been uh, enlarged and the size of everything, icons, text, uh, display visuals overall has been increased. So I think the elders, the senior people might be very glad to use this option and to enable it this this month because for them it will be way easier to use the phone or uh, basically this feature is also very useful for people who have some um, vision problems and that was it for this video uh, thank you so much for watching uh, just basically i just showed how you can disable this in your mode just uh, the way you have enabled it and uh, as i said thank you so much for watching this video and we'll see you in the next one Bye bye